Hello. How is the microphone? Is it okay? Because I can't... I'm trying not to stick the microphone too far into the morph, but you know, at the same time, you don't really want to have it too far back. I'll put the camera on in a second. I'm just waiting for a... There we go. That worked. Hi, Theo. How are you doing? Like that. That's right. Nino's grabbing me a drink, but he doesn't want to go into... Uh, he doesn't want to go on the camera, so he's asked me to wait to turn it back on. But I have all my questions up now. Let's refresh this quickly. I've also got one of my paws off. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Now, half these questions are yours, Blair, then. I'm going to stick on record as well, just in case. Record. And then I can upload it to YouTube afterwards if it goes horribly wrong. You had some good ones as well. You'll have to watch the VOD later. It'll be very sad. It'll be a sad time. I don't want to start with that question. I wish they were in more of an order. I could have ordered them all myself, but then I was like, mm, that's probably cheating. Thank you for the gifted sub -battle. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I can, I can hear the headset going off, but it's like right near my ear. <laughs> I think it should be fine. Yeah, one of my paws is just going to look a little bit weird compared to the other one, but it'll be fine. Tis what tis. Thank you for the gifted sub -battle. That was my camera. And my extra long straw. Oh, it keeps coming out. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> Hi, Artie. How are you doing? I'll turn the camera on in just a moment, just waiting for Nino to get out of the way. Should have asked for, like, water, really. That would have made more sense, wouldn't it? You're the one who asked for cider, right? You alcoholic. Mmm, cider. Right. Away. Bye-bye. Right. Hello! Oh my god, the straw is, like, right in the way of the camera. That is such a mistake. Lol. Okay, hello. How are we all doing? I'm gonna put that back on. Ooh. It's normie hands. No normie hands. Hi, one furry, how are you doing? You doing good? I will talk to you, I'll be like, hello, and I'll be talking to you, but then I'm gonna try and like, keep an eye on there. Yeah, well, this is my normal setup in the like speedrun thing. I've got my big monitor in front of me, which is like a 27 inch, something like that. It's a long straw, and it's a very little can as well, so it looks disproportionate. It's like, you know, I'm going to have to use my normie hand to hold it up. Look at that. And basically nothing to it. I don't know how I'm going to drink that. I might have to abandon it. But yeah, my normal setup is I've got my laptop off to the side, which is where I have the uh, thing on. The first time you see it, the first time you see my suit, yeah. I've never, well, I used to do streams where I wore my suit head and then I was like, this is a terrible idea because I can't see what I'm doing and I'm trying to speed run. And then I switched over to the VR I've got an issue face. And I don't get many chances to wear my suit at the moment because, you know, pandemic. Good, glad to hear. Oh, my cable's being ran. Bye! Do you want to try and... Ah, uh, he's got to go walk a dog. I actually can't... That, that is going to be very difficult. I might have to swap over to water or something. Because I can't grippy grab it. Right. Yeah, so i got my like 27 inch monitor in front of me. Which is great. Actually, is the window open? It's bloody f warm in here. Well, it would be. I'm wearing a fursuit. And i got my laptop off to the side. And that's the one with the camera on. For like the VC face. So if you see sometimes... Hi, Welsh Oren. 
Yeah, he, well, he's just gone now. He helped me set up because, you know, can't do much with pause. I can't, I, I'm trying to tippy tap. Um, and now he's gone off to uh, walk the dog. Uh, we're in the middle of a storm at the moment, so uh, he's going to have fun with that. How are you doing, Welsh? Welsh Oren, I should say. Oren. I don't think what that means in Welsh. It's not orange, is it? It's something else. Hmm. I can't stop doing this. It feels weirdly satisfying. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Um, that's orange. <laughs> So, uh, we've got the cable for my laptop, which is running from my laptop, which is in the spare room in the back of the house, down to the router, which is downstairs in the living room, which means the cable's going out here, all the way down the stairs, down into the living room. Oh, I know, changed the gift sub, the sub one as well, if you noticed. Thank you for the gifted sub. And then down into the living room, which gives me a more stable connection, because really, I don't want to be... Um, Although, I'm still showing on Wi-Fi. That's interesting. Interesting. I'm also going to have to open the window. I'm going to have to go to normie hands. Not the... Not the normie hands. Oh, cool, refreshing gear. It is okay. I have no prerequisite. As long as people enjoy when they do come, I don't mind when they do. That is fine. Yeah, we're going to do some... I have 45 questions. 45! That's so many questions. I mean, half of them are blething, given. But I have so many questions to answer. And, of course, you guys can ask them in the comments as well as we're coming up. So, you know, we've got some time to play with this. I don't want to stream for forever because I'm sat in full suit. I've even got my tail on, which was a bit of a terrible idea because I'm sat on it. And uh, I'm going to boil to death. But, yeah, this is a bit more like, as you can see, I've got my nice gaming chair as well, which I use for, um, like, this is my normal pose, I play my video games, and I'm like, with my Wii U controller right here, and you're like, woo. so normally I'm sat like this, unless I'm doing barrier skip, when I'm doing, if you, you, you see my avatar get close on barrier skip, right, when you watch me do Wind Waker streams, but in reality, what I'm actually doing is this, or like, if I show you on camera, to get this close to the screen, I have to go like this, to get that close to the camera to uh, actually see because it's um, pixel perfect. But yeah, hopefully the microphone is picking up. I can't hear anything, which is a little bit off because, uh, well, I don't really need to. I'm not playing any games, so I don't need to hear anything. But I think we should get a crack on with these. So the very first question I had is, what is the weirdest fact that I know? And I don't really know. Like, context-wise, I know a lot of facts about Zelda games. Um, I can tell you that the Ford, co Ford as a company, codenamed their engines, and they named the diesels after cats, and the petrols after... Jesus, that's loud. And the petrols after um, canids. So, for example, if you look at their diesel range, they've got like the Puma, the Q, the the Puma block, the Lion block. The, there's a Lion engine from Ford, but I have a car, my Fiesta, my one little Fiesta, and the engine in that is actually called the Fox. So I'm a Fox, and my engine is Fox. So I got a Fox engine for a Fox car. That's my first fact. It's probably not a very interesting fact, but it's the only one I can think of. So you'll have to deal with it. Uh, Ooh, that's an ad fish. Woo -hoo. What have we got? Hang on. Let's scroll back up. Ooh, World of Warcraft, I think. Do you know how difficult it is to scroll a wheel with pause? I tell you, it's it's not easy. It's not easy being blue. I keep pressing it. Do I have a poor fetish? No. No, I don't. The cutie. I'm a cutie. I'm actually getting a new set of paws in a couple of months' time. Because uh, the one thing I really regretted when I bought my suit is I didn't specify. I bought the paws. And I didn't get the claws on them. 
And I was like, I won't need the claws. There's the claws. It's whatever. They're fine. Now I've got the suit and I'm like, I should have got claws on them. Because this is so much more fun because you can like tippy tap stuff. So like in my tag, I can do that. And if you have paw a claws on it, they make the tappy sound. Uh, so I've got a new set of paws due in a couple of months time. And I'm also getting indoor paws because it's the one thing I also regretted is I got outdoor paws, which are great for like when we do London meets and we go for a walk on the London meets or whatever. But for like suit photos in the house, I actually would prefer indoor paws because I can get a couple more different shots and they look right. Because if I just do like, if I do like a shot where I'm like lying down on the sofa, for example, I can't have my paws in it because they're just like straight bottomed. It's a little dull, it's a little uninteresting. So I was like, I really want to get like a new set. So I won't get anything, but no, no paw fetish. Sorry. I scrolled a bit too far. Oh well. Why does your Why does your fursuit persona wear a tiara? That's actually a pretty good question. Normally Facebook's a bit of a mixed bag for furries, to be honest with you. Compared to Instagram's a little bit the same, but I find Twitter normally has the best experience and then Facebook has got a little bit of a weird one. Um this is a really good question actually. Um I have the tiara. It was a little bit of an in-joke at first before I got my suit. Uh, before I decided to what I was going to do with the character or whatever, I got the suit. Uh, before I got the suit, I should say, uh, we made some jokes about me being a bit mad, I mean, a bit princessy at times as was, and a couple of people who know me for a couple of years made the joke. And Tamari actually, point right here, Tamari actually bought me this specific tiara for Christmas one year. He bought a... Uh, fake I think it was an Armani bag he bought like a fake Armani bag and put it in and it's like a five pound tiara but he did buy it for me for Christmas one year as an accessory for the suit and he's like oh you've really got to wear this it'll be like a cute prop for the suit and I've just owned it ever since which is why I always make sure to wear it now it was actually a present is that I've always got a little bit of tamari on me mm -mm -mm. But yeah if you want to ask questions guys I've got my own little pop-up thing as well you feel free I'm not just going to be taking these Come on. What made you want to become a fairy? Um, I was already a degenerate and I thought, why not? I uh, know, I actually... I was really big into the MLP fandom for... Not long, but when, when it first happened in like the first series of it. And one of the things I really liked was visiting the fan website. And on there, someone linked Fur Affinity... And I didn't even know what furries were at the time. I was like, this was when I was 22 or so. I didn't know what they were. I wasn't really too internet savvy at the time, really. Compared to, like, now where I know everything about every meme ever. Um, so I did that. I got the link to FA. And then I saw some of the art. And I was like, hey, I really like this. This is really cool. And it was one of those things where I remember very specifically having a dream one night about something I'd seen on FA and it like must have really stuck with me and I was like oh I really like that I want to go look at it again and then I did and then I ended up making an account and then I ended up joining the forums and then I ended up going to the uh I was curious I was googled like UK first to see if there was anybody else once I discovered a little bit more about the community joined UK first found out there was a meet in Cardiff and went to my first meet and I was pretty much like it was it was all within like two months I want to say from going like oh what's this website to I am now at a fur meet well it was about two months it wasn't long at all really like it, it was very much like if you looked at the graph it'd be like normal normal oh god furry and like straight into it oh <laughs> I just realized what the next question is sometimes you get some questions and you're like the the Instagram ones, I sent myself anonymously, so I logged in as an anonymous account, sent myself the messages I had from Instagram because I couldn't find a find good good way of sharing them. Yeah. Come on, scroll you. Dip, dip. Script the pause coming off. Oh god, that's so much easier. Can we you message me or? So let's break this one down, right? So what the message says there is, can we, as in can we together, 
Then you, so specifically we, but also you, so I'm in there twice, message me, message them, I, I assume, or, or. So, my presumption there is, can we message each other? Um, which is my usual answer is no, because I hate Instagram messaging. I hate Facebook messaging. I never use Facebook Instagram messaging. Um, and if you message me on Telegram ever, you'll find out that I never reply. Not to be, like, rude about it. I just leave it, like, two or three days. It's just something that I'm pretty chronic for. Um, I mean, I do, I do have the excuse that I normally have something going on in the background and I only check my phone, like, an hour or two a day. So, you know, spending an hour or two catching up with a load of messages can be a little bit of a nightmare. And I've definitely been in a situation before where I realized I had like 15 unread messages and I had to spend a day like going through and repicking them up. Um, so I, I try to avoid it where I can. I tend to try to stick to like group conversations like this where I can be like, I can communicate with you guys on stream and have a conversation. Fine. And if you want to message me afterwards, then whatever. But be aware that there's a good chance I might not reply. I know, for example, Theo, I've spoken to you before, but it's like bits here and there because I'll message you and there's like, oh, by the way, i got to work for 10 hours now, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just really slow and that's the best place to get me as well. So I tend to prioritize if someone wants to ask me a question, which some, does sometimes happen, they just want to say, I just want to ask you a quick question about X, Y, Z. Great. Telegram or Twitter or whatever. Send me the message. How can I bonk, Artie? I'm not bonking my suit, I just bonk. Um, if you want to ask me a question or shoot me a quick message, great. Telegram's fine for it. Anything longer than that, you just be aware I'm very slow. Not to be mean. I'm not trying to be like, oh, well, you know, I only talk to popular affairs or whatever. I just, I'm very slow with messaging because <laughs> I don't have that much time. And, you know, especially if... Um, Especially for a, a good example, like today, I spent three hours stuck in, um, practicing the speed run. I wasn't looking at Twitter messages or Telegram messages because I was really concentrating on doing that. It sounds like a crap excuse, like I'd rather be playing games than talking to people. But if I'm really concentrating and trying to learn something, I'll chances are I'll shut everything else off and just focus on that one thing. Um, but I did spend a long time today speed run practicing, about three, four hours, so... It felt good, although I'm speedrunning a different game to what I normally speedrun, because I'm learning something new, which should be interesting. I might showcase it next weekend, we'll see. It depends how uh, much practice I get, but I, I, in like two weeks, I'm going to be doing a... Two, three weeks, I'm going to be doing a race with someone else of Super Mario 64, and we both picked it up. I've already written up the route, I've already started doing the practice to actually like take it seriously, and I also want to expand um, to do that, Sunshine and Galaxy. And I want to do the 3D All-Stars Any%. Percent. That's going to be one of the things I'm aiming to do. And I think that'll be my next sub goal. So I'm starting now. Like, I'm going to start learning that. I'm going to start taking Sunshine a bit more seriously and starting to like, build that up. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there's a reason I didn't scroll. The... Oh, the adverts there. From 1 to 10, how fluffy and soft are you? So soft. I'd ask Nino to come in and prove it, but no, if, if you ever like. One day when the world opens back up, we can actually do real events. I implore you, you may hug and you may touch. D don't be weird about it. Don't be like that one guy at London Fizz who uh, felt me up. But uh, I implore you, like, I'm happy to do hugs. You can feel it yourself. It is extremely soft. It's very good fur. The Lacey does incredible work with her fur. Really good work, like, if the fur is... <laughs> you back. He's back, he's probably soaking wet, as his dog. Oh, she's just ran upstairs and hid. You can hear a jingle jangling in the background. Poor thing. I don't want to get wet, Dad. It's wet out there. I also got to dump both my paws, I want to take a drink. Nyeh. 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 So, nyeh. 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 I feel like that one gif where the deer takes his um, hooves off and it goes like that with his hands. Um, 
it is Jags, typically. But I also don't mind Jags. I tend to use both. It really just depends on the context. Uh, yeah, the, the Sona name is Jags. Just like straight out like it. The name is Jags. But I did put that on the right one, didn't I? Um, it depends on context, like for example, if I'm saying it in one phrase, I use Jag Z Fox, because Jag Z Fox sounds better than Jags Fox, because there's either space in have Jags Fox, or have Jag Z Fox as one word, and I tend to prefer that, and I also get called Jag Z quite often by people, so it's basically one and the same, it literally makes zero difference. Typically, like, if it's just in a vacuum, then the character's name is, if I'm like, for example, putting something to it, I would say, this is Jags, or I am Jags, but... I use Jagsy all the time. And like, Nino will call me Jagsy casually around the house sometimes as well. Like, it just doesn't come up. But yeah, use whichever one you like. It genuinely doesn't bother me at all. As long as you don't use Jagsy Boo. I'm going to move that out of the way. Yeah. But not too far, so I'll push her off the edge and that'd be terrible. Why do I stink? I smell like. Probably still do, actually. Uh, mint chocolate chip, because I bought fursuit spray. Little mint chocolate chip fursuit spray. And I tried to apply it myself when I was already in suit, which is a bad idea, because what happened is I sprayed it the wrong way and just sprayed it all over my paw. And then I was, like, doing trying to get it everywhere, and I just wasn't working. And I ended up using, like, a quarter of a bottle, and you really shouldn't even use, like, you use, like, two or three, and I ended up using, like, a quarter of a bottle. Uh, so for months and months, I've just smelt of mint chocolate chip. <laughs> just and I'll put it on before I go to a cottage or so when I go to a con I'll like bah, 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 quickly to either that or candy floss or something like that just to give my suit a nice smell because the last thing you want to do especially at a convention is hug a suitor and you're like you've worn your suit a bit too much this convention haven't you buddy like it was a bit of a mistake <laughs> alright eh, 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 eh. oh I just got sprayed I can see a hang it smells so good. Ah. I also have like a, a um, quite often smell of alcohol spray because when I finish suiting, even if it's like for 10, 15 minutes, I'll spray all the inside of the suit to make sure to kill off anything. So I quite often smell of that. I've never known, like ever, ever, ever let my suit smell of anything other than clean because I don't like me. The same as my house. I'm very paranoid. Get, get over there. No, too far. Mouse. Mouse. Oh, God. Uh, it depends which one you're racing. If you're racing my um, Breath of the Wild or main quest, then feel free to beat me on that because that is a terrible time. Mm -mm -mm. How am I? I'm doing great. I spent all day practicing speedrunning and it felt very productive. Instagram person. Although, if you get a chance to ask someone like they like, ask me any question you like. Like whatever you, whatever your heart's desire is, ask me any question. And that question is, so how are you? I feel like you probably could have thought about it a bit more. If I'm being judgmental, I think I got like two or three saying how are you. Uh, 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 uh. How long have I been in the furry fandom? Seven years? I'm going to try and put my pull back on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I joined... It was early 20s, certainly about two... Th it must have been about 22, and then about two years later I met Nina. So that would make about sense. Either 21 or 22, I forget now. It doesn't really matter too much to me. That's it, I don't really take many anniversaries seriously. I know pretty much my birthday, and that's about it. Eh, eh, eh. I mean, if you are 10 years old, Coda, I'd be very surprised, considering your boyfriend is in his 30s. I'd be a bit concerned. Uh, where did I get my fursuit? Uh, fursuiting.com, fursuits by Lacey. Because they were the only person who would take me on, basically. Everyone else was like, we don't want to make another fox. And Lacey was like, all the foxes. Give me all the foxes, please. And then I got my suit. And I never looked back. 
What a great decision. I actually got turned down by two makers before I went to Lacey, and I should have gone to it straight away. I don't know why I waited. I did, well, I was like, I want to do something a bit different, because everyone I know has got a Lacey, and then it was like, I know why. Because she's Lacey. <laughs> it was a great decision. Um, school. I'm sorry, Seb. I thought you were in your 30s. I mean, close enough, right? I'm 29 net. I'm 29 in two weeks, so uh, you can uh, make the same joke to me in two weeks as well. <laughs> we'll be in a nerdy 30s club. I actually got, made the joke about being older because I've uh, got my vaccine appointment in two weeks. And I was like, well, of course, they're doing all the older folk first. You know, like, ah. Oh. It's like Nino's 30 in August. We're getting on a bit. I really wish. I wonder if the key down works. Yes, it does. Oh, that's so much easier. I discovered a secret. Uh, pause or Moors? Moors. 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 Simple question. Almost like I've got three more stickers on Telegram. Do you have a Nintendo... Do I have a Nintendo Switch? Well... Yes, I do speedruns on it. And can I follow you on Twitch? Please do. I want to hit partner. Jags, when is tea time? Uh, at 6.30 in the morning. Quarter to seven. Seven o'clock. It's half past seven. When I get to work. Eight o'clock. Half past eight. Nine o'clock. Um, do I? <laughs> I'm not answering that one on Twitch. The answer is no. No. No, I don't. Do I like hugs? Sure, as long as I know they're happening. There's nothing worse than in suit. Someone coming up and hugging you without saying anything. Because if you're in suit, if you've never, if you've never worn a suit, and you don't know... Being in suit is extremely disorientating for many reasons because you have a tunnel vision. Like, like where my paws are now, I can't see them. I can't see them up here, there. Like, by here, I can't see anything. Um, if I pour a partial... I very, very rarely partial is the problem because I don't have many reasons to. The only reasons I've ever partialed is when I'm doing... Um, particular photos and if I'm wearing particular clothes like if I'm wearing more of my femme stuff then it's just down to what I'm wearing um I would say that it very much depends what kind of look you're going for like if you want to just own it with the poodling yeah just wear short short sleeves all right Coda be good behave yeah, I would say probably wearing cooler stuff just to, like, keep yourself cool because it doesn't really matter. Uh, sometimes long sleeves can be good because they can hide the hem of the paws, which is something that you want. Uh, but main, I think the main part is wearing something around here to hide the hem of the head. I don't think it really matters too much. But, yeah, I don't really partial, so it's very difficult for me to say. Uh, I do know a couple of people who do, and it just varies. Like, a couple of them will wear, like, a Kigu instead, for example, to just help with the um, body over bit. Mm -mm. How much did my first suit cost? Too much. Too much. Hello, Aiko! And hello, everyone! Hello, Eric! Thank you so much for the raid, Aiko! I hope you all had a good stream. I presume Aiko was playing Pokemon Sword and Shield? Although what you should have been doing, Aiko, is uh, you should have been playing Pokemon Snap because I told you to buy it yesterday. And you should listen to me because I am always wise and always correct. He caught a me. He caught a, um, the fox thing, I assume. Thank you very much for the follow. I can hear, like, my headset is round here and I can hear the follows coming through, but I can't hear it too well because it's coming through my suit head. So I'm just like, uh? Hello? And thank you for the gifted sub, Valo. Uh, my suit... It's difficult to say because I paid my suit in like three separate installments. 
That is definitely a problem. If you already saw it, how many if I say a paradox, that's why I dare not say it. I wouldn't want to destroy the world. That would be a terrible, terrible thing to do. I have to play sword first. That's fair. I have opinions about sword and shield. One day I'll make a video about it because I have strong opinions about those games that are probably not too nice. I have strong opinions about many things. And thank you for the follows, everyone. I really appreciate it. It's amazing. I'm glad you're all here and enjoying this with me. Um, but yeah, my, I paid my suit in three separate installments, so I don't really know the final figure properly. Uh, and I had paid, for example, I paid for a specific fee for it to be finished at a specific date. Um, I didn't pay delivery, luckily enough, because it came back to America with someone. It came back from America with someone, I should say. Um, but yeah, it, it was probably at about the £5,000 mark, around about, which for some, for some clarification on that, uh, we bought Nino a car about three years ago, and that was less. <laughs> we paid less for that car than we did for this. Uh, but I don't know the final figure. It was just a lot of money. I didn't want to think about it. Book a demo today? Oh, boy. Um... What was your first Fury Con experience? A Confuzzled 2017 was my first. Must have been, because then my second one was 2019. We missed a year. Uh, that was a really good con. I really enjoyed it. Um, the only problem we had with that Confuzzled was it was also our first holiday away from Ellie, our dog, my dog Ellie. Um, and it was very weird because she was still a very young puppy. We had family looking after her and she was very, very awkward to look after. She still is. Um, and that was kind of, it was a little bit because we were both really nervy. So like it kind of killed the experience because you basically going back to the room. You'd be like, is the dog okay? What's going on? Is anything happening with the dog? And we ended up cutting the short. But yeah, Confuzzled, amazing experience. I had a much better time the second time, and I don't think it was just the suit. I think I knew more people, because the first year I went, in 2017, I didn't know that many people, um, comparatively. So I went there, I met a couple of friends, talked to a couple of friends, but I didn't really, like, do anything, like, explosively amazing. I just had a good chill weekend, if that makes sense. There's still a couple of photos somewhere floating about where I'm, like pulling doofy faces with fursuiters because it was my first experience with a load of them, basically, with the exception of some London fur meets. And to be honest, the London fur meets are basically the same as a uh, convention. <laughs> There's huge events. But yeah, there's still some pictures somewhere from my uh, Confuzzle 2017. Somewhere, but I wasn't wearing Jags because Jags didn't exist for another two years. Uh, uh, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow. How did you start Twitch streaming? Um, I'm going to take that to be how and why, because it makes it is a bit more of a thing. Um, so over the summer, I was furloughed off work. I had 14 weeks off work. And for some reason, I really got... The ones who co yeah, <laughs> Yeah, my co-worker, my old co-workers, they, my old job saw my suit. Um, so... I got interested in Pikmin speedrunning, very specifically Pikmin speedrunning, nothing else, um, about summer last year. And I thought about picking it up and I started toying with the idea. In fact, I started practicing. But I wasn't really too on it until a Pikmin 3 came out. And when Pikmin 3 came out, I bought a capture card and I was like, right, I'm going to try this speedrunning thing because I've been thinking about it for months. I've been practicing. I want to do it. And I basically started, I started doing some casual stuff in between, but then I was like, I shifted my focus and up until probably the last couple of weeks as well, really, from basically November last year till about April, it was just, I want to focus on speedrunning because that's where I want to do and that's one of my main hobbies. Do I like juggalos? I have no clue what that is. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, um, so I started doing it for that. So I just got a capture card to start speedrunning. Still do. Still my main hobby, to be honest. Beyond anything else. But, um... Yeah. That's basically it. There's not much to it. I just was like, I want to speedrun. So I did speedruns. How has... Oh, this is an excellent question. I love this one. How has speedrunning changed your perspective on games? Thank you for the follow, Toroto. Um, 
in some ways, it's kind of ruined the experience a bit. Um, I really struggle to um, play games normally because, and I experienced this a lot with Pokemon Snap, actually, the new Pokemon Snap I just picked up, because I would find myself, for example, doing there's some tech that you use commonly in speedruns, such as the way you but mash buttons. The way you mash text box buttons in normal speedrun is you normally hold down B and press A and you mash A. And that's normally the quickest way because B makes the thing refresh and then A causes it to scroll over. And I found myself doing that just like casually. Um, it certainly made me unable to play some games normally. Like I tried picking up Pikmin 3, which I did use to speedrun and probably will at some point. Uh, I tried picking it up again and having a quick go of it. And I found myself ending up speedrunning it. And I'll probably be the same with Wind Waker. Like I really struggle to play a game regularly. But I don't think that's necessarily bad because I tend to thinking about... There's a couple of games that I've always thought about playing in a speedrunning sense. So Majora's Mask, which is a game that I'm practicing now, uh, is a game I always played as if it was a speedrun. I always was like, can I do this this much? Um, can I do loads of stuff quickly? Can I do this in these days? How can I do this? So progressive to speedrun is natural. It's not going to change the way I play the game. Um, but it does mean I'm going to end up probably speedrunning more games than I thought. And I think picking up Wind Waker was the one that changed that. Because until I decided to do that, and I ended up speedrunning a game that I enjoyed casually more than a game that I thought about speedrunning, um, then I was like, okay, I really enjoy the concept of taking a game I enjoy casually and just breaking it. And Wind Waker completely broke it. And it's actually more fun now for me. So I'm like, it's a good excuse to play a game I love, but it does mean on the consequences that I really struggle to pick up a game and play it without thinking about how to play it quickly especially if I find out there's glitches in it and I'm like I'm just going to do those like I was thinking about playing Ocarina of Time the other day and I was like I kind of want to do all the speedrun stuff hi Cookie Coyote how are you doing that's a cutie name Cookie Coyote that's a really cutie name uh, uh, uh. are you cute yes yes I am I know many other people are like I'm not cutie oh my god I'm precious. I'm a princess, of course I'm cutie. How did your love for computer science begin? Because I wanted a job that paid money, and computer science pays money. So I was like, I'm going to do computer science, and now I get paid money. Is essential. No. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Um, no, I, th <laughs> I thought about doing computer science. Um, a fair bit ago, and I was like, I kind of like the idea of programming. Um, and then I ended up basically starting to learn programming offhand. Then my opportunity to do college came up and basically get it paid for me. And I was like, why wouldn't I? And now I do programming casually and I'll probably be in the future, not immediately because I want to give myself a bit of a break because, you know, I just started a new job as well. And I really need to like focus on learning all the stuff for the new job because the new job is a lot of networking stuff. Um, but I will be starting to program games and starting to build games like I've had a game idea that's been that's another thing that really gave me a bit of a kick. I had a concept idea for a game and I was like, I want to make this which is why I've been fascinated with game development mainly, and it's something that I want to get more into since I finished university. Um, I want to start doing stuff like that. I want to do like the Ludum Day challenges and actually build games. And I want to do stuff like, um, I want to release a game. That's the one thing I want to do, even if it's not a good game, even if it's not the game that I'm dreaming of making, I want to build a game and just release it and having me say, see that game on the mobile by there? I built that myself. How did you first become a furry? I've basically already answered that. There's going to be a couple like that, I think. Um, can I boop? Boop. Be careful when you boop suitors. That's one thing I will say. I've had it happen at conventions. It's not pleasant. If you boop there, right? I'm going to try and put it on the side. Try and think, right? If you boop front ways, right? Bear in mind where this is, you push that. And that is my face. And if you do that, it pulls my entire head down. So like you go gentle boop, like a touchy, it's fine. But some people go like boop and it's like Ugh! And then you get whiplash and it's not pleasant. So yeah, booping fine. Gentle, gentle. Hold gentle like hamburger. 
Thank you very much for the follow, Giuseps. What is the nerdiest thing I've done? Probably, <laughs> probably speedrunning. I don't think there's much nerdier stuff than saying I'm going to sit there for 80 hours a month and speedrun video games. I don't think there's much, there's much nerdier than that, apart from programming stuff. There's like a 50-50. I did, I programmed a script in Python to help me arrange my Magic the Gathering cards, and I think that's nearly comparable. <laughs> that's two things. Although, doing that helped me get the job I'm in now, so I guess it worked out. Thank you for the gifted three, the tier three gifted sub. That's amazing. Enjoy the dab. You get the special dab emote. Enjoy. How did I get into speedrunning? I basically already answered that. I really enjoyed watching people speedrun Pikmin. And I haven't speedrun Pikmin in like four months. So oh, I kind of want to do the original. I need to get around to that at some point. I know most of the stuff in the original. I could probably pick it up and start learning it today. Because I know most of the stuff. Right? I know every single item location. I know the order you do them into speed on it. I would just have to like get the timing down. But I know how to do it. I just have never done it. Eiko, are you showing your butt to everyone? That's not very Disney stream review. Even I'm not showing my butt to everyone. I could. But I'm not going to because I'm a respectful... You've seen me on TikTok. I've never been on TikTok. Are you sure me on TikTok? On Insta, yes. Definitely Insta. I love Instagram. Instagram is great to post on. Zell. Uh, are you still here? I thought you were in the chat earlier. Um, My favourite part about being a fairy. I think the people. I'm going to say. Getting to interact is, well, I would say there's perhaps, I have one friend from school who I'm still friends with, and the people in work who I talk to, everyone else I know is a furry, because all my other friends, all the people I've related to, gotten to know personally, am marrying. <laughs> um, I can see my dog in the back. <laughs> I just saw a pair of ears poke up on the camera and a little tail. <laughs> dog cam, everyone. Dog cam. Just tail tail um but yeah i definitely say the people i think the people well you, we wouldn't have a fandom without people and although we get some incredible art out of it i think it is definitely the people that make it and i don't think i would stay in it as long as i had if i hadn't met the people i met especially like some of the early cardiff days like a couple of people will speak about it specifically like you know i met tamari and nino there i met micah who's another good friend there i've met a load of friends from there and it was very much something I just, like, really enjoyed getting into. Ooh, ooh. Tap, tap. What drives you to keep going? Um, there's a couple, well, there's a couple of different ways I can look at this. What drives me to keep going with, like, streaming and speedrunning is I really want a world record one day. Which is one of the things why I'm really trying to hammer on Wind Waker, because I really want a world record, and I think it's possible. Um... In life, I just want to... I'm not really too ambitious. I don't want to be like... I don't want to live in a mansion. I'd like to make a decent wage. I'd like to go on some decent holidays. I want to do some decent conventions. But realistically, what I think I mo most of all is I just want to have experiences. And it's one thing, like, we're talking now, like, next year I want to go on holiday with Nino to see some stuff. Um, to see Italy, because I've, I've been to Italy before, but Nino hasn't, and I want to experience it again. Uh, I want to experience... I just want to experience things. I want you to know... I want to experience multiple conventions. I want to experience meeting loads of people. I want to experience loads of history and culture. And that's something I'm really into as well. So, you know, I'm not really, like, striving to be the best programmer in the world, for example. But I'm striving to be in a position where I can comfortably experience learning stuff and having a challenging situation work-wise. And then I can move on and do some more interesting stuff. But basically, that I'm not, like, overly ambitious. I just want to have... A life where I can be content and just say, I've done a load of things. It's interesting. And certainly streaming-wise, I want to get a world record. And that's something I really need to work on. Because I haven't been practicing enough. And it's very naughty. And you should be telling me off. Thank you for the follow, Frumple. How did me and Nino meet? Uh, Welsh Fizz. Although we met many months before we started dating. Um, 
I met Nino and we actually went out a couple of times. There's a picture somewhere of me and Nino at a Welsh first meet talking. And we were just friends at the time. We'd never think. And then just for some reason, one day we started picking up a conversation. And then eventually we started dating. And then we had, we just moved in together like a couple of months later. And it just went from there. But yeah, it was nothing like, you know, an instant spark and like that. We just, we were friends. We talked a lot. We talked a bit more. Started dating. Then, you know, then everything else happened. Like house and doggo. And where is doggo? Hello, doggo. She's just looking at me and wagging. She's a very happy doggo. What's your last screenshot or photo? I'm not allowed to show her on Twitch, Blair, then it's very illegal. Welsh Fizz, um, so, does Nino have a suit? Nino's suit is actually, we're paying for it this week. And then it'll be due sometime in the summer, hopefully. Hopefully before his birthday. Um, what's a Welsh Fizz? So I'm Welsh, I'm from Wales. My country is Wales in the United Kingdom. There's a group of furries in Wales as well, and they were called, originally they were called the Welsh furries, but now there's two different things. But yeah, my last screenshot and photo, I can't share it. If you message me on Telegram, I'll send it to you, Blethem, because it's very nice, but I'm definitely not allowed to share it here. It's a bit naughty. It's very nice, though. When was the last time you got to tell someone I told you so in work? Uh, I was like, I think this is not working because of X reason. And they were like, are you sure? And then we looked into it and I was right. And I was like, I told you so. And, you know, I've only been there a month, so I got to show off. So that was nice. What's the most interesting building you've ever seen or been in? This is going to sound naughty again, but I'll be fair and I'll explain it. Um... I visited Pompeii, and if you don't know where Pompeii is, it's a city in it. It was a city in Italy, in um, ancient Italy, and it got destroyed when Vesuvius erupted. And most of it has been like, like when they managed to clear away the ash, it was just preserved.